Well, I don't know what else to tell you other than welcome back to the I Buy Too Many Damn Hats podcast. Because I have a ton of Saints hats that I have bought over the last couple of weeks. And there's several that aren't in this video, actually, that I've worn already. But these are, you know, quite a few that I've been wanting to get my hands on. Some are newer. Some I bought because I liked others of that series and so on. But we got a lot of Saints hats. We got some New Era, a lot of New Era. And we got some 47 brand. And we're going to try to get through them quickly. I appreciate you coming and check out the video. So let's look at these hats. Stay tuned. First things first, remove the Pro Standard, just to show you what I'm wearing today. Love the embroidery work that they do with these Pro Standard snapbacks. Premium stuff, if you haven't checked out Pro Standard, you should. No, they're not sponsoring this video, because God forbid you give something credit without everybody thinking they're paying you to do it. <laughs> so, first things first, I had to have this one when I saw it. It's a series that they're doing across all of them. It's a 940 Trucker A-frame, so it does have the A-frame high crown where it sticks out a bit in the front, but love, love the contrasting New Era flag. Nothing in the rear has the Saints Vegas gold. More of a khaki, honestly, like a creamed khaki adjustable. So it's already set to my size. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah, that's, that is a clean look, guys. That is a super clean look. So you can see with the A-frame how it comes out a bit. But this profile is probably where it's at because of that two-tone New Era flag. Loving it. Fits great. Great everyday hat. Great work hat for those of you that like to rep your team at work. Um, definitely a great workout hat. But yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't typically get a lot of A-frame hats, but this one just spoke to me. Love the patchwork and the color combo. Had to have it. This next one, I had to bust open the plastic. It is a Tropic. Dark Tropics is the series name for this 47 hitch adjustable from 47 brand. See here it has the rope, has a floral print and a somewhat, you know, not quite Vegas gold, but the yellow tones kind of roll with the Saints Vegas gold. This seems to be another A-frame. I didn't realize that when I bought it initially, but when I got it, I was like, okay, this kind of works. And it's not a strap back adjustable. The hitch is an adjustable snap enclosure. So let's go with my typical snap enclosure size for New Era and see if it translates, which it does to the exact sizing that I need. Interesting aesthetic. The A-frame on this one does seem, I don't know if it's because of the pattern, and it's actually a little on the unstructured size, so this hat could deform pretty easily, I think. Um, but I don't know how I feel about the aesthetic. It looks cool in hand, it looks cool in pictures, I don't know. I think if it what wasn't an A-frame, it would work better on my head. So I'm not completely into it. I'll I'll wear it. I'll give it a shot. I'm going to see what the wife thinks. But uh, I don't know. I feel like this not being an A-frame would be better for this particular print and style. But, I mean, it's a comfortable hat. And I love the print on it. It's very, very different. And having the rope, I don't have that many hats that have the rope on it. Not that it matters or has a function. But aesthetically, it's kind of I'm kind of indifferent on this one. But... Moving on. So here's another 47 hitch with the rope. Has that old school look, but it is not an A-frame. So I'll be able to see what the hitch is like without... I mean, it has the, the stitching for an A-frame, but it doesn't come out quite like a typical A-frame. So I think it's just a regular high crown, basically. And we have the white enclosure. 47 brand in Vegas gold. Let's go ahead and adjust this bad boy, shall we? I have a feeling this might need to go down another snap. Yeah, it's a little too loose like that. So let's go down another snap. It just didn't look right. Oh yeah, now we're talking perfect fit. Bend that bill a little bit. Oh yeah. This is a clean ass hat. You know, these, these pure white hats for as long as they stay white always look good. Has the Vegas gold under visor. Very retro look to it. I like this hat quite a bit. Really goes with the old school breeze nose Nike shirt that I'm wearing right now. I'm digging it. What do you guys think? Comment below. I think this is the one to beat. This is my favorite look of all of them so far. But like I said, we got a lot of hats to get to, so we're going to keep moving. So we're going through all the curve bills first. So I did get the two-tone 950 snapback of the triple outline. So I grabbed it in the 3930 as well. 
It's all black, small, medium flex fit, which is my size. I also have the 5950 all black. I ended up getting all three hats in the series. Like I was saying in the intro, some of these I like the first one I got from the series and ended up getting the whole series or more from. And that's the case here. I really like that they did this series this year. This is one of the random NFL annual series that they do across all 32. And uh, for those of you that don't know what all 32 is, all 32 teams, this is a really good look. This also goes great with the shirt that I'm wearing, but this is another great everyday hat, as long as you don't mind an all-black hat, because an all-black hat without any breathability like this can get pretty hot depending on where you're at or what you're doing, but it is a clean aesthetic overall. I love the logo, the way the Florida de Lee worked out with the triple outline. I love that it's a black, solid black Florida de Lee because they go the route of white and Vegas gold for the outlines, but it's a clean look. We're going to keep going. So I was quite a fan of the white and black 3930 that I got for this year's sideline. So it's a stretch snap 940. So there is a little flex to it in the band, but the black and Vegas gold wanted to get another color. I'm debating on getting the black and gray because the black and gray definitely, definitely looks good. But love the shield. Love the color palette that they chose for the shield instead of the traditional red, white, and blue. Yeah, definitely has a lot of stretch to it actually. It's like a combination adjustable meets flex fit kind of hybrid. And this is a real good look. This is a great game day look, Whether no matter what fan apparel you're wearing, if you're a Saints fan, this is a great wear to the dome kind of hat for game day. This is, this is team color as team color gets with the aesthetic. It's the official sideline for what a lot of the players are wearing. And of course, looks great with most black Saints gear that's going to have some Vegas gold and some white with it. So definitely a clean look. I really like the 3930 that I had. That's the white color blocking with the black. So I had to grab another one. I kind of like this one better. Then finishing off the sideline hats, both low profile 950 snapbacks. I got the heritage with Sir Saint and the sideline, which if you watch any Saints games, you'll have seen a lot of people and or players wearing this particular hat. The coaching staff seems to really go the route of this 950 trucker it is a good look i have started to become a bit more partial to the the low profile hats than i have in the past i've gotten a few of them lately and uh, i really like the reason i decided to go this route is because i really like the fit feel and in the look of the 950 uh low profile salute to service hat from this year so i decided i needed to go this route and again they went the color blocking with the saints color scheme for the shield love when they do that when it's the saints colors with the shield because i have other saints hats that are the sh you know the saints color palette for the shield but nothing on the back standard trucker new orleans saints national football league just a great again great everyday hat great workout hat because it breathes really well in the back because it's a mesh trucker i prefer the mesh truckers most of the time these days whether it's a high crown flat bill curved bill or, or a, a low pro like this that's typically my favorite because it's hot i sweat a lot so i like the breathability but that's one of them the other being sir saint has this cream colorway sir saint on the patch and here you have the red white and blue traditional for the shield black and vegas gold two-tone can't really tell from the distance but that's actually a two-tone new era flag Give a little bit more curve to the bill. So this is actually a loose fitting with the same setup and enclosure. So when I go down one, it might be a little snug because that was just slightly loose. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's a good fit. So I do like to add a little bit more curvature to these low pros because they're not really meant to have a serious curve and they're also not meant to have a flat bill. They're this natural wide, wide brim curve and it's a good aesthetic. I do prefer the all black over the historic. I think it's a better look overall, but still a nice hat. Now we're on to all the flat bills. Like I was saying, I got the whole series of the triple outline. This is the all black Vegas gold under visor. Black and gold new era flag. Florida Lee stitched on the back with a 30 year anniversary patch. Love that patch. I think that's my favorite Saints patch of all. Seven and one eighth. My standard 5950 fitted size. Get a slight bend to the brim. And it's a great look. Just like the two-tone 950 snapback, which has the Vegas gold, is the brim up top with this same crown setup. 
only instead of fitted, it's got a Vegas gold snap enclosure, but I'm digging it. This is a good look. This is a good look. This is the best one of the group. Honestly, I wish it was solid black, even a black undervisor. That would just be super, super clean, but I mean, I still, still like the aesthetic the way it is. Good looking hat, good way to start off the flat bills in this video. So for the last couple of years, they've been releasing these ColourPop patch hats, and this one just recently released, and I had to have it. This is like a sky blue with a lime green. Has our Super Bowl patch from when we won the Super Bowl in the 2009 season. Man, that looks good. And then the shield matches the color scheme. Gray undervisor, 7 and 1 8. It's a little on the loose side, but that's okay. It's not bad. Not bad at all. This is clean. So any of you familiar with some of the hats I wear in some of my videos on my other channel, you'll have seen the cotton candy, baby blue, and baby pink one that I have, the gray with baby blue, the black with baby pink, uh, the army green with black. I have a bunch of the, the patch hats. They have the variety of patches. The main one, obviously, I like to get is the Super Bowl that we won, but aesthetically, the best looking one, like I said to me, is the 30-year patch, but it's a good look. Obviously, it doesn't go great with actual team colors, but I wear a lot of bright colors, and this is going to go really well. I actually love the color pop here. I think this is a very clean look. Speaking of my love for mesh truckers, so this is another series that they did across all 32, where they have this kind of two-tone sketch look of the team name with the logo, and it is a mesh trucker 950 snapback. No shield, but it does have Florida Lee patch hanging right there with some kind of fuzz hanging. So let's get it adjusted and see what we're looking like here. So these mesh truckers are typically the ones I'll wear to the gym. A little on the loose side, but that's okay. It's set up to be loose. I have it on my loose adjustment. If I was to go one more with it, I think it might be a little snugger than I would like. We'll find out. Not bad. That's pretty comfortable even, even with a slightly more snug fit. But yeah, on, on head, it's not as nice as I thought it would be. It's not the only mesh trucker that I have that's black and white. We got another one we're going to get to in a little bit that I think I'm going to like better. But in picture, it looked good. In hand, it looks good. On head, eh. Kind of indifferent about it. Not terrible. I mean, I'll wear it. I'll probably definitely wear it to the gym, though. It's not a bad look, it's just not as clean of a look as I thought it would be, but some of my favorites to wear to the gym, which is I think what this will end up getting dedicated to, is these 950 High Crown Truckers. I figured we'd go ahead and look at the other 950 Trucker. That's, that's my favorite logo, is the High Rise 3D Florida Lee with the actual word Saints is always my favorite when it comes to the logos on, on for the front. And then... Same thing, you have a little patch in the back. Let's see what it looks like, a uh, little tag, I mean, not patch. Let's see what it looks like with my standard enclosure setup. Oh, wow. It's actually, this is like a, a small medium 950. You don't come across too many of those because that was very snug for my standard fit. Now it fits perfect, though. One out. It's rare that that happens, but one out for those of you keeping score at home yeah this is better this looks better yep this will be the one I wear more I'll probably wear the other one to the gym more and then casually when I want a trucker with the Saints logo this is gonna be it for a little about little while this is gonna be the one I reach for this is a good fit this is a great aesthetic I love that frosted white with the all black with just this one other little hit of white it, it looks good I think it looks good. Never bad to have the state of Louisiana with the star for where New Orleans is actually located in the state. The Florida Lee embroidered inside of that raised outline. This Look, I have others that have the state of Louisiana, but I think this is the best looking patchwork I have as far as Saints hats that feature prominently the state of Louisiana. Really, really good look. Gold Florida Lee. The 50-year anniversary patch from when we hit 50 years in the 2016-2017 season. And then the all gold and black for the shield. Vegas gold in the, the actual sweatband and the undervisor. 
and of course on the top. This is a good looking hat. I haven't tried this one on yet. Seven and one eighth, my standard size. Ooh, it's a comfortable seven and one eighth too. It fits good. Cause sometimes they'll press on the forehead a little bit. There'll be a lot of pressure right in the middle. That happens if they're uh, either a little too snug or a little too loose when they're not the right fit. So like if it's a little too loose, it'll be pulling on the sides right here, which makes it press on the front and back. And that's where the hat head spot will come from for a bald guy like me. <clears throat> but no, it's, it's kind of a busy hat because the patchwork is big. That makes it a little bit busier than others. But when it comes to a busier hat, a more simple look is what I'll go with as far as whatever top I'm wearing. Maybe I won't have big as hell breeze nose. Maybe I'll have something that just has like this Florida Lee. I have stuff that'll just have the Florida Lee on the chest. I'll wear a more simplistic look with the top if I'm going to have such a big, bold patchwork design going on in the hat. But this is a more situational Saints hat, but this is also very loud look at me kind of Saints hat because, like I said, it's two gigantic patches going on here, which kind of makes the New Era flag look even smaller. But it is a great fit, and that's what's important. It is a good look, a situational look, but a good look and a great fit. So I picked up another one of the sidelines from last year that I didn't have that I did want to get, the black with the gray logos. They have the black, two different versions of the black tie-dye with the gray, uh, but I really wanted to get this one. I like the black and gray aesthetic. I have other Saints hats that are black and gray color palettes like this. Love the shield looking like that. Then you have the gray Florida Lee on the back. Solid black underbrim, which is what I would have liked the triple outline to have. Just be solid black like this, you know. But let's see how it fits. Oh, this is another comfortable 7 and 1 8. Ooh, and it looks good. This is a good look. This is this and the color pop are my two favorite flat bills that I've gotten in this video. They're definitely the top two. Now, it's hard to say anything's better than that retro look. I think that's still the number one for this particular haul of Saints hats, but I mean, come on. Come on. This is a clean-ass look. I really like that. So when it comes to monotone, Black, gray, khaki, white, not gray. I'm a gray kind of guy. Love shades of gray. Um, favorite color is blue. Secondary is pink. Then high vis yellow. I like the bright colors, but when it comes to monotone stuff, I'm all about the gray. I'll take gray over any bright color, honestly. That's why I'm like really, really digging this. Great fit, great look. What more could I ask for? So I believe this is a particular chrome series. It's a two-tone. White and more of a creamish eggshell white, not quite cream, but like an off white and black. We have nothing on the side, New Era flag, and then the word Saints in our particular font on the back. Now, I will say, you can probably see this. The actual bill is like up, so that's not cool. Let me kind of work this down a little bit. I can't stand that. That is a no-no for me. So let me kind of work this bad boy down just a little bit here before we try it on. 7 and 1 eighth. Almost a perfect 7 and 1 eighth fit. Let me make sure to kind of work the brim a little bit. There we go. Because the last thing I want is some crap like this going on. I don't understand how dudes wear their hats like that. Like they purposely bend the bill up and stuff. Mm -mm. Good for you, pimpin'. I ain't doing that shit. So... It's still kind of up. I'm going to have to work it a little bit because I damn sure don't like that. I will not wear it if I can't fix that. I will be able to fix it at some point. It's just going to take a little bit of work. Probably going to have to use a little bit of steam from the tea kettle with my hat jack. I'll, I'll, I won't even use it to stretch it. I'll just put a firm hold on it to where it naturally makes the bill come down like this. And then I'll hit it with some steam around all the way around. Let it sit for like 12 hours. And then when I let it go, it'll it'll be fixed. So... I have things to take care of these. You don't, you don't collect hats for more than half of your life and not learn the tricks of the trade when it comes to hat collecting. And uh, it's a good look. I just need to fix that bill situation. I don't want it popping up on me. But it's a very clean look. I fully anticipated it to be that white and black two-tone. Believe it or not, I actually didn't have a hat this particular color combination. The right one came along. Don't know why it's called chrome for the chrome series. There's nothing chrome anywhere but it's a good looking hat.
Well, quite the massive Saints hat haul now, wasn't it? So uh, let me know down below, for those of you watching, what was your favorite hat of the group? What was your least favorite hat? Which one was just like a, damn, I wouldn't have bought that. Because you don't necessarily have to be a Saints fan to check out these hat videos. You just, you just got to like hats, which I know is a small niche in itself. But in being a Saints fan on top of that, that makes the niche even smaller. But hey... I like to talk about my hats, and a few of you seem to want to watch me talk about my hats. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video if you want to see more content like this. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good one.